Hey yogis, it's me Julia. I'm here on my deck at home. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I haven't recorded outside yet before. It is pretty noisy here. Um, but let's give this a try. All right, another quickie practice here. Come to your mat. We're gonna start in child's pose. Open your knees nice and wide. Big toes close together. Let your upper body rest down. Take five ujjayi breaths. So in and out through your nose with sound. The sound comes from constricting the throat. Feels a lot like you're fogging up a window pane. Push up to downward facing dog. Spread out your fingers wide. Point your fingers at 12 o'clock so your hands are externally rotated. Drive your heels down. Lift your tailbone up. Soften your neck. Shake your head yes, no if you need to. Then right away take your feet together. Lift the right leg up. Push down with the right palm. Push down with the left heel. Kick a little higher. And step the right foot through to your lunge. Draw your heart forward. Slide your shoulders back. Squeeze your left hip. And then maybe bounce that left hip just a little bit to warm up your hip flexor. Take another inhale here. On the exhale, straighten both legs. You're coming into this long pyramid pose. Drop your head. Inhale, come back to your lunge. Exhale, hips back, long pyramid pose. Both legs straight. Three more, your pace, your breath. Inhale to the lunge. Exhale, the hips high. Big breath in, draw the heart forward to the lunge, downward facing dog, right away feet together, and then inhale the left leg high. And step it through to the lunge. Big inhale, your heart forward. Slide your shoulders back. Suck your belly away from your thigh. Squeeze your right hip. Big breath in. Both legs straight, hips high, drop your head. Inhale your heart forward. Exhale, hips back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Big breath in. Push your hips high. One more time, your heart forward. This time, step the right foot forward, fold at the top of your mat. Rise all the way up. Hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. And open up your mouth. Big inhale, your arms come up over your head. Bend your knees as you fold forward. Halfway lift up, step or hop back, high to low plank. Inhale to your backward bend, up dog or cobra pose. If it's up dog, kneecaps are off the floor. Pull your belly in, exhale, press back downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, step or float to your fold. Halfway lift up, exhale fold. Inhale, rise, look up. Exhale, bow, empty it out. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, low plank. Upward facing or cobra. Downward facing. Big breath in, big breath out. Bend the knees, feet to the hands. Halfway lift, fold. Rise, bow. Long spine, low plank. Try to land lightly. Elbows are bent. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Big breath in, open up your mouth. Take the right leg high, stack the hips, bend the knee, three-legged dog. Square your shoulders, relax your neck. Push down, kick up a little bit higher. Big inhale, exhale knee to the nose. Inhale, kick back, right elbow. Inhale, kick back, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, kick back, right foot forward to a lunge. Left hand plants, your right arm high, low lunge twist. Pull your belly in, roll both shoulders back. Squeeze the left leg, drive your left heel straight back. Reach up a little higher. Warrior two, drop the back heel, open up the arms. Sit your hips low, lift your belly up. Set your gaze. 
So anyone can hold a pose for a half of a breath. Can you hold it in stillness? Can you keep your concentration for eight breaths, 10 breaths? Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Hold, squeeze your hips, squeeze your belly, start to turn towards the opening of your chest. Big breath in here, big breath out, two more. One more in, triangle. Straighten the right leg, right arm down, left arm high. Press right leg into right arm, turn, twist, open this up. One more inhale here, hands to the mat on your breath out, go through your flow. Your left leg up. Three-legged dog, open up your hips, squeeze your left butt cheek, relax your neck. Little bend to your elbows, wrap your triceps toward the back of your mat, drive down with the right heel, kick up a little higher. Take another inhale, knee to your nose. Kick back, left elbow. Kick back, come across to that right elbow. Kick back, low lunge. Right away, inhale the left arm high for your twist. Cinch the inner thighs. Squeeze your right seat. Roll your left shoulder back. Maybe lift the gaze. Drop the back heel, warrior two. Belly up. Shoulders down. Gaze is soft. Jaw is soft. Heart is open. Energy from fingertips to fingertips. Reverse your warrior, big inhale. Extended side angle. Keep your hips low here. Squeeze that right butt cheek, turn, twist your upper body back. Reach through the right fingertips. Commit to your gaze. Lift up out of your hip sockets. Pull the pelvic floor in, the belly in. Triangle, straighten the left leg. Maybe keeping a little bend to the left knee. You've gotta see what works for your body. Push, left shin into left arm. Turn, twist the upper body open. Find the length on both sides of your waist. Find the length in your neck. Take one more inhale here. Hands plant, go through your flow. Take a big breath in and let it go. Breath in, breath out. One more time, let it go. Right leg high, stack the hips, bend the knee, three-legged dog. Kick up a little higher, stay here or flip your dog. If you're flipping, reach to the right hand towards the ground. Pelvis up, heart up, flip it back. We're gonna keep that right leg up, same right. Knee to your nose. Kick back. Right elbow. Kick back. Left elbow. Kick back. Lunge. Right arm high, low lunge twist. Warrior two, right away, dropping that back heel, open up the arms. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. This time, optional binds. Left arm around the low back. Maybe the right arm under, full bind. Hooking your hands outside your right butt cheek. Squeeze both hips, roll your shoulders back, start to turn, twist, open it up. This is a hold point. Option here to start to straighten the leg, right leg a little bit, moving toward a bound triangle. Now it's not gonna come all the way straight and that's important to protect your right hamstrings. Feel free to release that bind at any time. I'm ready to now. Let's open that up and plant the hands, go through your flow. Your left leg up, three-legged dog. Stay or flip that dog. See what you're looking at. Lift your pelvis, lift your heart, flip it back. Kick that same left leg up, bring knee to the nose. Kick it back, left elbow, kick it back. Right elbow, big kickback, 
step through to that lunge. Right away, the left arm high for the twist. Pull the inner thighs together, squeeze the right butt cheek, roll both shoulders back. Warrior two. Reverse. Extended side angle, optional binds. Both shoulders back, belly in. Keep the weight out of that left hip socket. So drive with the left heel. Pull the belly, the core in tight. Working toward that bound triangle, if that's something you're into today. If not, you release that bind triangle. Release the bind here. Take one more inhale and plant the palms. Move through your flow. Deep breath in and let it go. Send your right leg high. Stack your hips, bend your knee. Drive down with everything touching down. Kick up a little higher. Knee to your nose. Big inhale kick. Bring it to the right elbow. Big inhale kick. Bring it to the left elbow. Fall in triangle. Extending your right leg, left arm high. Hips up, ribs up. Reach the left arm towards the floor. Plant the left palm, kick that right leg high again. Step it through to your lunge. Right away, the right arm up for the twist. And then option to roll to the outsides of the feet for that Shiva twist. One of my favorites, because I need that outer hip stretch so bad. Lift the hips up a little bit, look down and set your gaze, and then taking as much time as you need, shift the right foot back to your side plank. Little bend to that left elbow, Spin the inner elbow to the top of the mat. Squeeze your butt and lift your hips up, ribs up. One more big breath in here. Big breath out. Try to float that right leg and then step the right foot forward. We're in that low lunge twist again. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle, optional binds. Going for that full bind. Start to straighten the right leg a touch. And then this time, option for bound half moon. So to work this one, I like to keep my gaze steady. One spot on my mat. Start to hop that left foot forward a little bit. Then very slowly shift the weight to the right foot and lift the left leg up. I'm flexing the foot and now I'm gonna start to stack the left hip on top of the right. So this is gonna be messy. You know, it's definitely messy for me Maybe not for you, but I want you to just breathe, play, and lighten up a bit. Like, be careful about locking into your joints, kind of keep things loose. When you're ready, come back into that extended side angle and hands to the mat. We're going to come right into lizard pose, both hands inside the right foot. Hug right knee to right shoulder. Maybe come down to the forearms. Keep drawing your heart forward. Let's go ahead and drop to our left knee. And maybe roll to the outside of the right foot if you want to get really open. Then put the right foot flat again and hug the right knee back onto the right shoulder. We're gonna try to take the right arm under the right thigh. So if you take a look, you'll see I'm kind of grabbing my calf with my right hand and I'm gonna work that right shoulder under my thigh. This might be enough for you, okay? If you wanna work a little bit more, set your gaze on your mat, hug that right knee onto your shoulder, lift the left knee up again. Maybe right arm wraps around the low back. Maybe that left hand wraps as well hooking the hands for a full bind. Hold five breaths. Drishti, gaze is key. Start to unwind. Send that right leg back. Move through your flow. Take a big breath in and let that go. Big breath in, big breath out. 
one more time. Let it go. Take the left leg up, back your hips, bend your knee, find your three-legged dog. Shoulder square. Left knee up a little higher. Take an inhale. Knee to your nose. Kick. Left elbow. Kick. Right elbow. Extend it. Ball and triangle. So for this ball and triangle, your left leg, try wiggling it forward a little bit. So you're gonna get more of that inner thigh stretch we're looking for. Then push down with the big toe side of the foot and open it up. Don't forget to breathe. Flip it back, kick that left leg up, same one. Step it through to the lunge. Right away the left arm high for the twist. And then Shiva twist. Roll onto the outsides of both feet. Breathe. And we're gonna move into side plank from here. So I have some right shoulder stuff. So I'm gonna use my left hand to carefully bring that left leg back. Another option, of course, is to drop to the right knee. Left arm comes up, five breaths. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. Take that left leg up. And step it forward, back to that twisted lunge. Four, your two. Reverse, extended side. Binds. Maybe working that bound triangle. Maybe working that bound half moon. This is my messy side, okay? But I'm gonna give it a try. Set your gaze on your mat, hop that right foot forward, and then let's slow it down. Shift the weight. Imagine you're moving through molasses, super slow-mo. Flex the right foot, roll the right hip back, roll the right shoulder back. You fall out, you try again. After two or three of your best tries, try to release that bind. Extended side angle to lizard. Left foot, edge of the mat. Maybe you can come down to the forearms. Maybe the right knee drops and we open it up nice and deep into the hips. Okay, pull that left knee back to the left shoulder, left foot flat. Start to work the left arm under the left leg. A couple alignment cues you'll notice here. My left ankle is right underneath my knee. My left knee is hugging tight to my left shoulder. And even though I'm working that shoulder under, I'm not collapsing my chest. I'm keeping some integrity to my belly, to my core. Now I'm gonna set my gaze. And the key to getting this full bind is hugging left knee to left shoulder. So keep that. Five breaths, give it a try. Shoulders back, neck long. Start to unwind it and send the left leg back. Take a big breath in and let that go. Big breath in, clear that out. One more time, everything out. Right leg high, get that three-legged dog. Knee to the nose, to the low lunge. Twist. Warrior two. Half moon. Left hip on top of the right, hard flex. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. together fold halfway lift fold left hand plants 
bend the left knee, right arm up. Right arm around the low back, left arm through the legs, full bind outside the left hip. Look down, set your gaze, shift your weight to the right foot, and start to stand up, bird of paradise. And extend the left leg. So we've actually worked this pose several times just with different gravity, okay? So if you think about this, this is the exact same pose as bound half moon, bound triangle, and bound lizard. Maybe not the exact same, start to come down, but very similar principles and release. Shake it out. Halfway lift, slow. Your left leg up, three legged dog. Knee to your nose, to that low lunge twist. Warrior two. Half moon. As soon as the right foot lifts, what does it do? Flex. You wanna make that an automatic. So much of yoga is muscle memory. Roll right shoulder back. Kick right heel back. Belly in. And feet together fold. Good work. Then split the feet hip width. Right hand plants, right knee bends. Left arm high. This is a hold point. If you wanna try that bird of paradise again, bind the hands outside the right hip. Set your gaze on the ground. Start to stand up. So I'm very slowly shifting my gaze up a straight line and now I'm gonna look forward and then extend. And come back down, shake it out. Roll up to stand, big inhale, arms come up. Hands to your heart. Deep breath in, open up, let it go. Inhale the arms up. Bend your knees as you fold. Halfway lift up. Move through your flow. Walk the feet through. Lie down on your back. Bridge pose. Plant your feet hip width. As soon as your back touches down, lift that bum back up. Rock your shoulders under. Maybe bind your hands. Squeeze your palms. Open up your chest. pelvis up a little higher. Lower down. We'll do two more back bends. Big inhale, big exhale. Bridge or wheel. If it's wheel, you can set up hands next to your head. Fingers point at your shoulders. Lift your hips and then come all the way up. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Knit those low ribs. Pull your belly. Lift up to your max and release. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Last one, rise on up. Don't think, just do, give it 10. Nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck, lower, big breath in, and let it go. Happy baby. You're grabbing a hold of your legs or your feet. Tail down. Neck long. Figure four. Bend the right knee. Right ankle to the left thigh. Reach right arm through the legs. Clasp your hands around your left shin and pull. Both shoulders down. Release, change sides. Flex the left foot. 
pull your legs toward you. At the same time, press the left leg away from you. Shoulders down. Release, take both legs up. Waterfall. Keep the right leg up. Take the left leg down. Keep both feet flexed. Reach up with both hands, try to catch the back of the right leg wherever you can, and pull your right leg toward you. Then gently guide your right leg open to your right. Pull the right leg back to center and take it across to your left, taking a twist. Look over the right shoulder. Come back through center. Take your left leg up, right leg long, both feet flexed, and pull left leg toward you. Both shoulders down your back. Open up that left leg to your left. And then guide it across your body for the twist. Pull back to center, give yourself a squeeze and release Savasana. Commit here to two minutes. I'm right here with you. Breathe. Last minute here, if the mind is wandering quite a bit, feel into your senses. Maybe notice five things you hear. Notice what you feel. Something you smell or taste. Notice what you see, even if your eyes are closed. Take a deep breath. Let it go. Come on up to a seat. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath and let it go. Namaste, peace.